Looking around, I became aware of how surrounded we were by Stingray. One wrong step here could send me straight to the hospital. Waves crash as water rolls onto a preserved expanse of coral reef. The brilliant blues and white caps, a signature of the vibrant ecosystem thriving below. With this tropical landscape in front of us and the wind to our backs, the crew and I set course for our next ocean adventure. Welcome to Grand Cayman Island. This 22 mile stretch of land located in the Caribbean Sea just south of Cuba is home to lush beaches, crystal clear waters, and an abundance of marine life. In fact, Grand Cayman is one of the most iconic locations in the tropics to experience up-close encounters with some of the world's most renowned aquatic creatures. And today, that's exactly what we plan to do. What's going on everybody? I'm Mark Vins, and welcome back to another special adventure brought to you by our friends at b and Photo. And today, we are just off the coast of Grand Cayman Island at the world famous Stingray City Sandbar. This site has drawn people from all over the globe to get up close and personal with, you might have guessed it, giant southern stingrays. And these rays are absolutely huge. We can already see them off the sides of the boat in the water, and they are here in masses. So today, we actually are going to be testing out the brand new GoPro Hero 8. This will be the first time we've ever used this camera and we're super excited about it because we use GoPros for just about every video we've ever made. Honestly, some of the best shots that exist on the channel were captured on a little camera just like this one. Except this one is brand new and is packed with all kinds of new features that we're excited to test out. Alright Chan, so are we having calamari for lunch? <laughs> if you would like it, we can. I think we're going to give it to all those stingrays out there, though. One pound of calamari that we're allowed to have out here is going to be what we're going to use to track in the stingrays that are here at the sandbar at Stingray City. Uh, the proper way to feed a stingray, hold right. it in your hand just like this. Uh -huh. You're going to guide it. They're going to bring their nose right up to it okay. yeah, as they hunt by smell. Okay. Now you're going you're gonna to open your hand nice and flat, and that suction is going to suck it right up. Is there a chance you can get bit feeding stingrays? Uh, there is a chance you can get bit, but they just have a couple plates. So mashers? That's exactly right. So they're very, very powerful. The stingrays here are habituated for this activity. It's not something you want to just go do at your local dive site or at your local beach. But if you do want to get close to stingrays, this is the place to do it. We have our pound of squid cut, and now we're ready to go out there at the sandbar and have some fun. OK, let's get our wetsuits on. Sounds good. Awesome. Now one thing I want to mention about the site is that we need to go barefoot, so I'm going to take my wet boots off because we want to be able to feel around the sand with our toes, and that's the best way to keep from stepping on a stingray. We want to do a stingray shuffle as we make our way to the sandbar because one of the best ways to get stung out here is to step on one. We don't want that to happen today. All right, I think it's time to put on our mask and get out there with the stingrays. You guys ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Upon entering the warm Caribbean water, the crew and I were immediately greeted by several stingray. I could already feel them brushing our feet as we made our way to the shallows of the sandbar. Oh my goodness, here they come. The food has arrived, and so have the rays. Oh man. I definitely made sure to shuffle my feet. One wrong step here could quickly end this adventure and send me straight to the hospital. As soon as our boat arrived, the stingray had their eyes on us. They knew we would be giving them some tasty squid that we were cutting back on the boat. As I mentioned, these stingrays are habituated to humans, from decades of fishermen gathering in these calm waters to clean their daily catches. After cleaning their fish, they would then toss the remains and old bait overboard, and the stingray and other marine life caught onto this and began associating boats and humans with an easy meal, which subsequently created this iconic location known as Stingray City Sandbar. Got my first piece of food. See if we can get a ray to come feed. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow! They are hungry, that is for sure. 
As they continued to swarm the crew and I, I had to keep reminding myself to shuffle my feet, which is harder than it sounds when you're being pushed around by waves and almost tackled by hungry stingray. Almost got my fingers in there, that was a close one. And even though we were completely surrounded, they are actually very gentle creatures. They're just hungry and looking for food. They actually like to be pet right under the nose, kind of like a puppy. And if you put your closed fist with a little bit of squid in it right underneath them, the stingray will actually follow your hand around. To the touch, stingrays feel extremely soft, and their skin is actually slick, not at all rough like most sharks. Oh, here we go. Since the stingrays had settled down a bit, I decided it was time to try something new, something that I had never done before. Hold a stingray. I have a good feeling about this piece of squid. This is gonna get the stingray we're after. But I quickly learned that was much easier said than done. I like that stingray. That was my friend. This light gray stingray is actually a female. I've noticed her swimming around us the entire time. And it seems that because she's the most docile, she would be the best candidate to try to hold. All right, here goes nothing. Attempt number one. Uh, nope. All right, here goes number two. Ah, uh, not even close. All right, number three. Nope. Okay, clearly this was just as difficult as I'd expected. Although I'm not really sure what I expected at all. Holding a stingray isn't really something you normally want to do. But then of course, as luck would have it, it finally happened. That's the only stingray. It happened. Look at this. This will be the official stingray of Blue Wilderness. This very gentle giant of the ocean. Should your neighbor? We'll name that one Jenny. And release! I did it! High five! Woo! Alright, I think I'm gonna take a break from holding stingrays and just stick with getting footage. Take my GoPro back. I look at that the fun? You have a fun, Corey? I'll have a fun. Alright, awesome. <laughs> That's what it's all about today. Grab your happy fun with stingrays and the new GoPro Hero 8. The Hero 8 is the latest in the line of GoPro cameras and it features some standout upgrades from its predecessor, including a total body redesign with built-in mounting capabilities, and a new side door for quick access to battery and media so you don't miss a second of the action. And then lastly, there's the brand new HyperSmooth 2.0 for ultra-stabilized footage, which I have to say, I'm particularly excited about. And of course, before we left, my new friend Jenny stopped by for one more visit. You know, just to say goodbye. Can you imagine being able to get close to one of these stingrays? This is something I feel like everybody who loves the ocean needs to come and do something. Wow. What a gentle marine creature. Who would have thought Southern Atlantic stingrays and human beings coexisting out here like this? So crazy. All right, it's getting late in the day. We got to pack up and head home. Woo! Oh man, that was crazy. The Stingray City Sandbar certainly did not disappoint today. And you know what else didn't disappoint? The brand new GoPro Hero 8. I have to say I am thoroughly impressed by this camera and cannot wait to get home to check out the footage that we captured from today's adventure. And here's some more good news. If you go to www.bhphoto.com forward slash brave, you can take advantage of exclusive deals that B&H Photo is offering just to our audience, including the brand new GoPro Hero 8. So go check it out, grab yourself a GoPro, and get out there and have some fun on your own adventures. And if you ever come to Grand Cayman Island, I highly suggest checking out the sandbar. It's definitely worth your time. I'm Mark Vins, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next dive. If you like this up close encounter with the Southern Atlantic Stingray, just wait until you see what happens when we plunge deeper into the ocean with the Sting King of the Sea. Get ready, brave crew. Our adventures on Grand Cayman have only just begun. Can't wait for next week's episode? Check out our new members only section for behind the scenes extras and exclusive episodes. But the most important thing about this camera, 4K 60p. Absolutely essential when you're filming anything underwater because that allows us to slow down the footage ever so slightly and it gets rid of the jitters and the shakes. Access to these videos and more are available right now by clicking the join button on the channel homepage.